Undercover cops and SWAT teams, their work is intense and dangerous. Tonight, News 4 Investigates takes you inside the St. Louis County Drug Unit for a rare look at how it's fighting the war on drugs. Within minutes, we reach the target, and then it happens. The suspect, who has a history of drug and weapons convictions, is on federal parole and is the target of a heroin investigation. He's involved with a robbery that turned into a homicide back in 2002. We met the tactical team two hours earlier at a North St. Louis County shopping center. All right, here comes our standard safety beat for everybody coming along and especially the uh, media behind us here. On our approach, if anybody's out in the front yard or near the house, we're gonna put them down. Inside their armored vehicle, during a severe thunderstorm, they reviewed the safety plan. Can you follow behind the first thing behind the van? If anything happens inside the house that we need to extract immediately, make our way to the hospital. Emphasized different scenarios. Any questions, comments, or concerns? And what the officers okay. could expect. Uh, we don't plan on throwing a flashbang as of right now, but when we get inside, if we get hinked up or something like that, we might throw a bang, just be mindful of the windows. Then the leaders announced the lineup and placement of the officers. Lineup. The operation is based on information discovered by this officer who worked undercover and collected the evidence needed to get warrants that allow the drug unit and SWAT team to raid the home, search for drugs. I wish I had told me. Why? Why? I'll tell you now. If we would have told you, you wouldn't have any weed here or any heroin here. And arrest the suspect. So when you are in an undercover role, um, do you feel like you're kind of out there all alone? I mean, how, what is that like? In a sense, yeah, um, but also no. You, you have a group of people that, it, that your team is behind you, uh, usually in close proximity, to where you know if, if you need help with anything, all you've got to do is, is speak, and they'll be there you know, within seconds to help you out. Uh, just contacted our dispatcher, let them know about uh, basically our target address. The drug investigations often begin with yeah. tips from informants. Some are residents who see illegal activity, and some are criminals facing charges. The officers use detailed databases to compare their findings with other crime reports, then look for trends and patterns that can be linked to a single suspect or group. They are making sure that our target is uh, still as, at least as firmly as we can believe, still on scene. Creating the strongest cases possible. There's numerous hours that, that, that go into play in, into an investigation like that. This case reflects a dramatic change in the priorities of the county drug unit. In just the last three years, the county PD has cut marijuana arrests by 72 percent, while more than doubling the number of arrests for heroin. Good. I think the, the main initial fear is that, you know, that the suspect and or other people inside may, may do something to harm the people that are that are coming through the door. On this day, there was no gunfire, only an arrest of a suspect targeted in the investigation and the knowledge that the drug unit would soon be back on the streets, keeping up their average of more than one raid every week. We'll take you even deeper into our behind the scenes ride along with the drug unit on our website, KMOV.com. Craig Cheatham, News 4.